I've taken it a challenge that the whole community, first thing is education. With education, everything will follow. Then will come grooming, then will come talking, then will come counseling, then I will do first aid, then I'm taking care of the health, taking this literally from birth to death. Family, when they die, they have such a small place. Over the drain, I've seen the father sitting, no burial rights. I had to take him, give him into ED ambulance, send them outside into ED place for a burial right. They have no, and we said we give respect to a body. There's no community. All I want people, that we should have a community hall over there. These people can have their weddings, they can have a place, they can sit, they can have parties, they can, we can do some programs for them, we can give them lecture, we can counseling them. I want to do, but where can I do? There's so much to do, but we don't have place. In my school, we got the first floor, we got the second floor, we got the third floor. But the DHA says we're not allowed to be there. Then why doesn't DHA realize or somebody realize if you are doing good to your community and only thing I'm doing is giving them good education, quality education. It's not only here and there. It's these are the children who will one day remember me and say, okay, whatever they got. Because to me, it's not only education. I have to give them a place in society. I have to make sure they're constructive human beings. Not just human beings, but they'll be constructive human beings. Or they're a place where there's full of violence. Get them out of violence. There's no place for them to play. There's no place in our school to even do basic exercise. These children need exercise. If you make them exercise, they will go like this. Because they're not used to, you say they're playing in the um, gullies and the lanes, but they're not running. They're not doing physical exercise. One open place with somebody just making them in the morning run. It will clear their mind. It will get them out of the street violence. These small shops in the lanes, they have the snooker tables. You see, yesterday I caught all my kids watching the snooker man. Then they will lure him into. Then they will ask them for money. What happened? Then they'll start taking money from home. So we have to avoid all these things. Get them out of the... How long can I keep them in school? I keep them almost all day. I even call them on Saturdays. We have field trips. I've taken the mothers to the beach. They came all dressed up because they didn't know where they were going. To beach, they were in the best. To them, it was no idea. When they saw the water, they didn't know there was so much water in the country. So imagine where they live. We are still up on the tree. We are in the primitive stage. We have not gone beyond. So when will we come forward? We all have to get together. We have to make a team. Everybody, just give them education and give them good education along with grooming. Tarbiyat is very, very important, but these people have no concept of sitting, eating, walking, talking. They're like junglies, absolutely living in the jungle. They don't know how to cross the road, if you see, as if they're in the village, they'll take anywhere on the road. So all that from the media, it has to come. How to cross every day, how to cross, how to wash your hand, how to sit, how to use the toilet. And how come other countries can do it after they are not educated, the poor over there? But it is through the school level, it is groomed, it is brainwashed. Then only we will come up. If all the school have the same media instruction, the same syllabus, then why should there be a difference between a few of the chosen and the majority non-chosen? We are the majority here. And that is a few. They can go to the moon for education. They can go to tuition to education. So where will these people go? They are our future. They are the people who will take Pakistan beyond. But if they can't think, they will be thought by others. And they will do what they'll have to do, what others want them to do, because they don't have the ability to think. So if they can think, they will not burn tires. If they can think, they will not go to another person, because they'll be able to think. Somebody will give them food, somebody will give them ration, they don't, they're not working. They will go to that person. But why? Why can't we help them? Why can't we give them education? All you need is simple, same syllabus, no difference, disparity, same children going up to the synth textbook.